So I did a thing. I shouldn't have thrown that. This is the Acer Aspire 5 with a Ryzen 3500U CPU. Now this is an APU and comes with Vega 8 graphics. While yes, there is only 2 gigabytes of graphical RAM, this computer may surprise you. As you can see there, we are running Kingdom Come Deliverance and that's what I wanted to show you today. So this laptop cost me £399 and I would kind of class it as a high-end budget laptop. But with its 2 gigabyte graphical onboard memory, you're not really expecting this to be running Kingdom Come Deliverance. Or are you? So what I've done is I've downloaded the mod Optimize Graphical Presets and this allows me to set the overall image quality to ugly. <laughs> because you can't normally get this low. And what this is going to do is going to optimize the game to run better on lower end hardware. So going into the advanced graphical presets, I can literally turn off almost everything, which is <laughs> probably not the way to play this game. I'm gonna be honest, but you know what? It works. So this is the mod itself, it is the optimized graphical preset mod, and this is the unofficial update because the original version does not work any longer. You need to download this one, so I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below. Download this, it will make your game run a lot better. Okay, so we're in the game and currently we're sitting at 33 FPS. What I always say is spin around. You always want to spin around, let all the assets load in, and then in theory, the game should run a little bit better. But you know what? We are actually hitting 30 FPS <laughs> on a 399 pound laptop <laughs> with mobile graphics. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, it doesn't look very good. I I'm gonna be honest. Um, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't look great, but you know what? It it's playable, which is, Surprising. It allows me to go and play dice, which is um, <laughs> something I've always wanted to do on the move. But you know what? Look at Henry's character model. Like, the armor and everything looks quite good. I can't notice any glaring issues there whatsoever. Um, that's positive. Apart from the lack of shadows and the fact I have to have V-Sync off and the fact that you can see some screen tearing, it is okay. Like, I, I wouldn't recommend this to be your first experience of Kingdom Come Deliverance, but you know what? It does the job. So I, I think what I'm gonna do is, is take a walk around and see, uh, oh. <laughs> now, something we're gonna have to watch out for is popping, but that's mainly due to having all of the sliders set to low. So all the distances are set to low. Um, so loading in stuff like that is obviously not going to be brilliant. It's a little grainy. I, I don't know if YouTube's going to pick that up or if it's going to completely wreck this video with um, compression, but it's a little bit grainy. But apart from that, it's okay. We are currently sat at 21 FPS, so a little bit more work could be done. But uh, apart from that, it's, it's playable. I'm mainly looking at the details on the characters and stuff. And right now, um, obviously shadows are a little bit lacking, but they don't look awful. They don't look terrible. If you go and play something like Fallout 4 or Skyrim, the shadows in that, if you set them to low, look absolutely abhorrent. These, these look soft, but they aren't jagged, which is interesting. That's something that surprises me, actually, because I thought that the graphical details of the shadows would be a lot lower than it is right now. But if you look behind Henry, th that looks all right. Like, that looks like if I'm playing it on high or ultra. That doesn't look any different. Now, that may be the power of this mod. I'm not sure. But it does mean that someone may be able to go into this game now the modding tools are released and be able to release some patch that makes the game look a lot better and run a lot better. Because as we all know, Kingdom Come Deliverance isn't the most optimized game in the world. We know that. What can I do? Instead of asking, can it run Crisis? Uh, we can go one better because of course this is running on the newer CryEngine and we can ask, can it run Kingdom Come <laughs> Deliverance? <laughs> but you know what? I I'm gonna say it again. I'm surprised it even loads. This is running on a mobile graphic chipset. This isn't running 
on a GTX. This isn't running on a desktop style Radeon. This is running on a Vega 8 graphics chip. And that is crazy. I kind of want to see what combat looks like. So here we go, I guess. Let's see how bad the frame rate drops. And we're going to target onto this guy. And let's, let's fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that noise he made? <laughs> oh, oh, that made that made me giggle. Oh, that's that was fun. It's fine. You know what? Apart from the fact it's running at twenty three FPS, we have multiple characters on screen, and it's still playable. Like there is no discernible lag, like at all. Oh, gotta watch out for this guy. Oh, let's try and take him out with a simple sword blow to the face. Now, I am being surrounded here, so I've got to be a little bit careful of the people that are around me. So let's go for... Oh, let's try and knock that guy away. That did not work. Oh, we took one out. That was good. Oh, let's go for a slow-mo block there. Now, normally, my videos are set to 60, and that's what this one is going to be set to. So you're going to really notice the frame drops. But I want you to, because I think that's more legitimate. That's more truthful. I want you to see how the game is actually running. You call that combat. But I've played some other games on here and they don't run half as good as this. I tried playing WWE 2K19 earlier and that ran at about 15, 14 frames a second. And that was everything on low. And I would have said that this game was a lot more demanding than that, which is crazy. Oh, let's go for a block there. Let's take that guy out. Oh, booyah. You know what? Now, that animation normally stutters on my PC with the RTX 2060. <laughs> Whenever I go for a mercy kill, it always stutters. It didn't there. That's really bloody weird. This is mind-blowing. Like, the fact that a laptop that's £399, which isn't a lot compared to a lot of laptops. If you look for a gaming laptop, you're looking at around £600, £700. And this is half of that. I mean, it's staying at 23 FPS. I mean, it dropped, I think, to 21. But the fact it's not dropping with multiple people on screen is really good. Really good. You know what? The game's actually running worse now on the game over screen that was running in full-on combat, which is a little bit weird. So I wanted to quickly test fast travel and uh, also Ratai, because obviously Ratai is one of the hardest places to run in the game. So, so it's been loading for about a minute now. I, I, I think it's okay. F fingers crossed, everyone. Um, <laughs> you, you've got to give it some time, you know. You, it's got to give it a little pat on the back and be like, it's going to be okay, you've got this. Oh, see, look at that. Amazing. Uh, we're currently sat at 21 FPS. <laughs> Also, that light is um, flickering for some reason. I, I think that may be down to the graphical preset mod. You, you can see the smoke trying to come in. All right, here we go. So let's run forwards. Oh, you know what? It's still sticking at 23 FPS. How that is possible, I honestly don't know. Um, hey, 21. 21 FPS. 20. Um, let's run up the high street. <laughs> You know, it doesn't look that bad. Like, obviously, seeing it on my screen, I can see anti-aliasing issues. I can see um, some graphical issues. Screen tearing is quite a big thing because of V-Sync. Um, but, like, the ground textures look really nice. They don't look that bad. What is happening? All right, let's run up here. Here we go. This is this is going to be great. 23 FPS. 21. That person just appeared in front of me. 15 FPS. 22. 21. They wave to each other. 21. 19. 20. Uh, let's keep going. 21. Um, 23. You know what? That is actually a lot better than how it ran on my old GTX 1050. <laughs> Because my old GTX 1050, if you ran like that, the game would stutter. That man has no head. <laughs> He's fine. He'll get over it. He's ahead of the game. I'm going to say right now, I'm incredibly impressed. You used to experience quite a lot of stutter if you ran through there at full speed. 
the game would kind of chug along a little bit. But that was understandable, and I've explained before that Kingdom Come is a pretty hard game to run. It has a lot going on. Um, the fact it didn't stutter once there is mind-blowing. And honestly, if I wasn't sat so close to the screen, I wouldn't have even noticed some of the weird graphical issues that had happened. Now, do I recommend this for Kingdom Come Deliverance? Um, no. No. <laughs> if you've played the game before, yes, because you know what to expect. You've seen the game at its best, and you think, okay, I really like this game. If you've never played Kingdom Come Deliverance before, don't let this be your first experience, please. Just go play the PS4, Xbox, PC version. Go play it on a decent PC first. Um, take in all the beautiful scenery and everything else that Kingdom Come has to offer. Um, because, honestly, th this should not be your first experience. But... I would recommend downloading this onto a PC like this. If you're going to be going out a lot, if you're going to be traveling, I would say this is personally playable. I'm going to say it right now. If you turn off that FPS counter, I don't think I would have even known that it was dipping below 20. And that is, is crazy. <laughs> anyway, I love each and every single one of you. But until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.